It's so good. It's way better than the ones in Canada. Way better. Dollar Sue Mine. Look at all the different flavors that they have. So we were late and then they canceled our seats, but good thing like no one else booked it yet. So then we were able to get the same seats back. So we just finished watching Deadpool. It was really good. It was like he broke the third wall a lot. These are popsicles and they look like penises. This and this is what we have, all of this. And we good morning. So I actually I'm kind of sick. I lost my voice. And earlier this morning, I um, woke up to edit a vlog and it is going up right now, but it's taking forever because it's a long video and because the internet isn't that fast here. So today, we don't really have anything planned other than we might go to watch Deadpool, but we don't know what time yet. It actually premiered um, a couple days ago in Taiwan and I don't know if it's like earlier than other countries but yeah it's out already so we're gonna go watch Deadpool the reviews are really good so I don't I, I I'm hoping it's a good movie Marvel movies have never really disappointed me yet so let's hope this one lives up to what I've been hearing so far so now we're on our way to go shopping and we're gonna get some bubble tea on the way so I'll show you guys how cheap the bubble tea is here and how big it is I am so excited so we're at the bubble tea place now and they have so many different flavors this is the best one in my opinion and look at their prices like $20, $25 right now the exchange rate is like $23 so all of these are like a dollar each look at that yeah, super cheap. So we got our bubble tea. Looks like this. It's from Wushilan. This is what it looks like. And I got a green milk tea with tapioca. And I mixed the tapioca. So it's the big one and the small one. You can see here. So it looks like this. So it takes test time. Oh, it's so good. It's way better than the ones in Canada. Way better. So now we're just gonna go shopping and this place is called Gong Guan. So it's just full of um, like a lot of different stores that you can go to. It's also like we have, there's everything here like from electronics to clothes, all sorts of stuff. So we're at this jewelry store right now and they have all sorts of stuff and my sister got me a pair of earrings and a black bracelet. These are the earrings that my sister got me. They're just very simple bows but they're really cute. And then she also got me a pair of bangles. So it just looks like this. It's very simple, but I, I like simple and chic things because they can, they can like you can pair clothes with it really easily. By the way, I'm already almost done my bubble tea. It's so good. So yeah, we're gonna um, get the jewelry and then I think we're gonna go get shoes after because we're going to Japan tomorrow. So they want to get some boots for the snow. So I'll show you on the way. And there's so much good food around here. I just want to give everything. Try. Yeah. So right now we're just walking by this uh, like you know street vendor and look at the clothes that they're selling it says acne and like I don't I don't understand like why does it why who would want to wear that like what the hell ten dollars to mine look at all the different flavors that they have Ooh. Ooh, these are little bunnies. Oh, it all looks so good. But we can get them some in Canada, so I guess I won't eat this. So we collect garbage here. Is uh, there's a garbage truck, and the music you're hearing right now, that's what it is. So this is this is what it is. It's right here. And then you just throw the garbage in yourself, and then they drive away. 
and they usually have a set schedule as to when they bring like the garbage truck to your house. So you're you're supposed to be responsible for like chasing after the garbage truck and throwing it in there before they leave. So it's a very unique thing that we have here. So obviously if you live in apartments, like you just throw it downstairs down the trash chute, just like you know, like what we have in Toronto. But if you live in like a house or like the traditional types of condos, then you have to go and chase after the garbage truck yourself. So yeah, now my niece, um, they're buying socks and stockings and they have different styles here so I'll just show you what it looks like. So like they have these normal ones, right? And then they have these guys. The panda, a bunny, a bear, and also a cat. Apparently it's like really popular here amongst the teens. So that's what she's buying right now. So now we're at the movie theater and there's so many people. And so like we were like late, so we ordered the tickets online. Um, so we were supposed to pick it up half an hour before the movie. But we actually got here like 45 or 15 minutes before the movie. So we were late and then they canceled our seats, but good thing like no one else booked it yet. So then we were able to get the same seats back. But still, like, we had to literally rush and, like, my brother was driving and he, like, almost ran, like, red lights and then he was, like, swerving everywhere going through lanes and stuff. It was insane. So, we were trying to get here on time. We still didn't make it on time. But it was fine. Like, now we're here, so it's okay. But, yeah, my brother has been ranting. He's like, oh, my gosh, why didn't you guys leave earlier, blah, blah, blah. Because we were shopping, so, like, like, I guess, like, we didn't expect it to take this long and yeah there was a huge there's a huge line here so at least it's good that like the theater here like you have to book seats first so you can't really like you can't really run out of seats like even if you come here late your seat would still be open so it's, it's, it's okay but still it's not it's not ideal to be super late to the theaters and they actually just let people into the auditorium the one that we're watching so we're watching um, Deadpool so we're actually on time it's just like it felt really rushed because we did order the tickets online and then we had to get here earlier and we didn't so yeah um, we're now just waiting for my brother and my sister-in-law and Jessica so my niece to come here and then they're gonna meet us here and then only my brother's gonna come in with us because the movie is PG-15 so She's only 13 right now, so she can't watch it. But yeah, um, I think they're gonna go around like shopping because we're in Ximenting right now. So it's a very popular place for like, you know, just shopping and a lot of like street food. I'll show you guys around when we come out because we're gonna probably go around and just walk around. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what we have here. But right now, he's just mocking me again because he doesn't know what I'm saying. And he doesn't even, he doesn't even know how to speak English properly. Okay, I'll talk to you guys. So we're in the movie theater now, and this is how big it is. It's a huge theater, and we're a little late. Like, the seats are already all full, but it's okay. So I got my popcorn, and I also got my drink. The tickets were only 10 bucks, so it's cheaper today. So that's good. So I'll give you guys a review when the movie is over. So we just finished watching Deadpool. It was really good. It was like he broke the third wall a lot. Like I'm talking to the camera. And then he also, like a lot of it was really funny. It's not serious like the Avengers. And then we're now just waiting for the post credit scenes to come up. Um, yeah, the credits are still rolling. So I don't, I don't know how long it's gonna take. But hopefully, I read online that it says that it talks about X-Men. So we're gonna see what it looks like. And then I'll update you guys later. But overall, really good movie, I highly recommend it. So now we're out of the theater. So we were waiting for the post credit scene, but there wasn't one. Like, I mean, Ryan Reynolds kind of came out and was like, why are you guys still here? Why aren't you leaving? But I don't know. I, I thought there was supposed to be something about X-Men. I guess the internet was wrong, or unless we didn't wait long enough. But uh, yeah, overall really good movie, highly recommend it. So now we're just going out to meet Jessica and my sister-in-law. 
and apparently they're waiting at Starbucks, but there's like a million Starbucks here, so we don't know which one they're at. So we're gonna go and meet them, and then I think we're gonna go find food or walk around the area and then try to get something to eat. Starbucks right now, and this is what it looks like. So it's pretty much the same. So there's three floors in the Starbucks, and I'm just getting a mug for Nakimga. If you see this, this is for you. I know you're collecting these mugs, so I'm gonna get one for you. And um, after this, I think we're gonna go get some food, and then we're probably gonna go home because we're just really tired from a long day. Actually, we didn't really do anything. It was just like really hectic trying to get to the movie theater. That's why we were going crazy. But yeah, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna get the mug, and then we're gonna. So this place is called Shi Mending and it's just a really popular place for people to like come here and like walk around and do some shopping. So this is just literally like one small section. It's huge. And like my sister-in-law was saying how she got lost in here when she was um, a student. And actually my mom used to come here after school too. So that's how long this has been around. Now we're gonna get um, like Wei. So that's basically just like I don't know what you would call it in English, but it's basically a lot of different types of foods and then they put it in one sauce and then they just keep cooking it and boiling it and it tastes really good. So this is what it looks like. So this is the one we're getting. Apparently this one's really good. So like, they have like chicken and like vegetables and tofu and that is pig ears right there. I'm not sure what this one is, but one's some sort of or organ. Probably. So yeah, these are the prices. And this place has always had a long line, so we're just gonna get this. These are popsicles and they look like penises. And they also have a uh, taiyaki and they even have the veins. Like, look at that. Like, what the hell? Like, these ones, these ones have underwear on them. This is so funny. These are actually soaps. Yeah, there's all sorts of weird things. This is what they look like. And that's their logo. Look. Now we're getting um, more food for the, I guess, little gathering we're having at my place. So this place, um, they're famous for their minced pork with rice and that's what I guess like Taiwan is famous for as well. It's one of our special ones. And then they also have a lot of different types of soup. Yeah, so I'll just show you their menu and kind of like go over what they So from the left, that is the minced pork with rice and then there's three different sizes. And then there's also um, like kind of like a meatball kind of rice. And then that one's braised pork rice and then dried noodles. And then there's a bunch of soups in the middle. And then um, you can also just get an egg. 
um, that is also boiled in the same sauce and then some vegetables some bamboo shoots and tofu and they're all really good so they have a lot of stuff and that's the soup that we have here and then this is what the minced pork looks like so yeah that's the braised pork it's really really good and then those are the eggs and this is what it looks like so we're finally home and um i got so these are the earrings that my sister got me and can you see that it looks like this it looks super cute i love it um we're gonna lay out all the food on the table and just start feasting because we're also hungry it is already 10 o'clock so we definitely need to eat like definitely so yeah um we're gonna go set up the food and then i'll show you guys what it looks like because you're definitely gonna be jealous so we've laid out all the food and it's actually an insane amount so let's i'll show you what we have here this is the minced pork with rice so we got four of these and then this is duck this is, yeah, I'm duck and then this is chicken feet i know a lot of people are scared of this scared of this? and then this wow. is this is duck we love it also uh i can't remember which organ this one is love it. this is duck tongue it's very good uh fish balls tofu this <laughs> is chicken heart sure. eggs and then more tofu different types and then we got vegetables and then this is just like the traditional Taiwanese meat meatball soup so it's a, a, like a thicker consistency and then this one is um, fried fried uh, I think it's fried pork in the soup and then we have these are the tempuras but basically it's just like it's a fish cake these ones, it's called the blood rice cake. And then these are just vegetables. So this is what we have, all of this. And we got a lot of different types of beer too. So we have, this is Taiwan beer and this is grape flavor. This is also Taiwan beer, but it's honey flavor. We got Keating bar beer. And we got a Heineken. And we got an Asahi. And then on this side, we have milk. And then we have these really good um, drinks. I don't know what they're called, but they're, these are so good. If you're Asian, you know what this is. And then we also got oolong tea. This is green tea. And then we got black tea. So yeah, we're going to enjoy the food now. So after dinner, we just like sat around the like we were just eating by the couch so we just watched a movie we just finished choppy and it was actually pretty good and i'm feeling so sleepy because i woke up at seven and it's already like almost one so i'm gonna hit the hay and i will talk to you guys tomorrow